Australian lamb is iconic here and around the world. We love our lamb ads. You've probably seen them every year and every Australia day. Another thing we love Australians is beating New Zealand in everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are coming second to our neighbours in the global export market of sheep meat, and we are both competing for the main market of China. My name is Jamie Nykiel. I am a third and final year student at Murdoch University, and I'm doing a Bachelor of Science, double majoring in animal science and animal health. I have just returned from China, and I saw firsthand the demand for premium Australian sheep meat. The Australian sheep meat industry is worth $4.38 billion, with $240 million of that being our export market to China, so nearly 5.5%. And China is our largest sheep meat market. China is the world's largest importer of sheep meat, and as they are currently got an increase in their middle class, so is their wealth growing, making them a platform for the uh, making them an ideal platform for Australian sheep meat. Unfortunately, with conflicts in market access, we have a lack of abattoirs to meet this demand, especially in the chilled meat sector. We are now also competing with New Zealand, who have recent access to this Chinese market. New Zealand is the biggest importer into China, currently having 0% import tariffs as of 2016, while Australia is 12 to 15%. This market access issue is also not helped by we only have one Australian plant accredited for chilled meat in this time. This is significantly less than the chilled beef number plants that we've also had accredited. In the same time, New Zealand has had 10 plants with preliminary access granted. Um, Preliminary access granted. Prior to this, Australia was the only exporter of chilled lamb to China. It is estimated that an increase in the access market to China will increase $400 million per year into the Australian meat industry. There are uncertainties with the live export market, as you probably all know, so this leaves an ideal opportunity to increase our cold supply chain. China is ideal because with the increasing exponential in the in exponentially increasing middle class, they want Australian lamb and they can now afford it. I saw firsthand over in China that the younger generation now want food safe imported meat. This product, this fresh product they see as a higher quality comes with a good cost and a good premium for us. It is predicted that by 2050, China will have 43% of the global increase in agricultural demands. Our sheep meat has increased by 49% in the last decade, with our Chinese market nearly doubling. Solidifying and strengthening our export markets now and in strengthening those relationships will put us ahead of the game and provide us with stability for the future. Australian sheep meat counts for nearly half of the world's export market, with New Zealand being our only close competitor. In order to secure the Chinese market, we have to be consistently and sustainably providing premium sheep meat and avoiding markets being filled by our overseas competitor. So it's a two-man race, and I think I speak on behalf of all of Australia when I say it's a race we do not want to lose. We need to work together as a whole supply team because a win for the sheep industry is a win for Australia. Thank you.